Hey, what's up guys? So you have a iPhone 12 or the 12 Pro. I'm gonna show you how to basically move or copy or download your photos and videos from your iPhone 12 directly to a Windows computer. And we're gonna be using a cable. Now the first thing I wanna note that if you bought the uh, Note 12, you get a charging cable like this right here. Okay, it's basically like a USB-C to a lightning port here. The thing is on my Windows computer or laptop here, I don't have a Thunderbolt 3 or a US or a USB type C to plug this end into, okay? So what I am using is a standard uh, lightning cable to a USB A here. So I can plug this into my USB into my computer. This one here, I mean, I've been using these cables here for over a year and these like uh, there's a 5 pack for like under $10. I'll put a link below where you can get it. Anyway, first thing is I'm going to plug this into my USB port on my laptop here, so let's plug that in. Okay, so that's plugged in. And we're not gonna be using iTunes or anything, okay? I personally, I, I can't stand using iTunes, okay? I like to do it directly. So it's plugged in here, in the USB. So let me go ahead and plug this one into here. And as soon as you plug this in here, so we heard that right away. Now the iTunes here pops up, but it's no problem. Let me just go ahead and close this out. Okay, now I heard something down here. Now, let me go ahead and open up my file. So my, that little folder right there, let's open that up. And now I see Apple iPhone right here, okay? So let's click on that, and it says internal storage right here. Let's double click on that. Oh, there's nothing in here, okay? Well, let's go ahead and sign in here first. Okay, so I just signed into my phone here, and let's see here, let me go ahead and open this back up. And you can see Apple iPhone right there. Let's double tap on that, double tap on that, double tap on DCIM. Okay, so here's a folder here. Okay, so here's all my photos and videos. Now, sometimes you'll get a message that you have to trust it on your phone and on the uh, your laptop or Windows computer as well, okay? Anyway, you can see I have tons of photos and videos here. I mean, we know, you can see which ones are video files. You can see the uh, play right there and all the IMG, the rest of them is photos. You can see the file extensions. I have a JPEG file, photo here. Here's a PNG file. Anyway, so from here, if I want to go ahead and transfer uh, photos, I mean, what I can do, I can, I can select these like individually. I can select them. Like, let's say you just want it like a few of these. You can go ahead and just drag and drop it onto your desktop like this. And then it's going to go in right to the desktop. What I typically do is I'll just right click on the desktop somewhere. Like right here, right click, and then I'm going to go down to new, and then go to new folder, and I'll just like name this something. I'll just name it um, iPhone here, and now I can drag and drop whatever I want into here, okay? Or I can simply, if I want the whole shebang, I can just go ahead and highlight everything, and then drag and drop it right into this new folder I just created. Now you have to wait for all that to copy everything so let's wait for that to copy okay so we're just about done here and if I open up the uh, this folder here it's on the desktop of my Windows computer so it's on the hard drive of my Windows computer so I'll double click on this open this up and you can see all those files those photos and videos that I just transferred onto there so right now it's on my computer or on my um, Windows computer here and now I can go ahead and um, edit these videos or just save it into my hard drive of my computer. So there you go. Pretty simple. Any questions or issues, just comment below. All right. Good luck.